All right, so what do I mean when I say um, order flow? And I'm going to be going over this in this video, um, and it, I'm going to keep it simple. So basically what order flow is, is it, you really have to pay attention to the trend in the order blocks, okay? So if I go to a one hourly chart, okay, when we made this giant move up, okay, you can see there's some order blocks here, these three, there's an order block here, there's, a, there's these order blocks here. Okay, so in this moment, the order flow is bullish. Why? Well, you can see we're creating a higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and we're holding these order blocks, okay? So that's that's when the trend would be bullish, okay? Um, again, you get an order block here, we're still bullish, you get an order block here, we're still bullish, and then boom, when would we get a change in order flow? Well, the change in order flow would have be when we go below this last major significant order block, okay? So you can see we end up making a move below this, we retrace a little bit, and then now I would consider the order flow bearish. So today when we retraced up there, I know a couple of you uh, said we were gonna go up here, and at the time um, it did look like it, but then we created the market structure in the five minute and in the one minute, okay? Um, we got this nice move down, there's an entry in the one minute, and now the target would be this cell matter right here, okay? Um, so that's that. And if you notice in the one hourly, you can kind of see the break in order flow would be if we make, if we break this order block and that would be the change in order flow. Okay, so let me just go through a few more examples. So right here, okay, we have this bullish order block. The order flow is, is bullish because we break this high, create a bullish order block. So you'd want to see us hold this. And we end up bouncing right off of it. Um, and then again, we get another order block over here. You'd want to see this held. Um, and I know we do like we, we kind of go below these order blocks, okay? But that's not a change in order flow. You have to keep in mind where discount or premium is as well. We're still not we're still in the premium uh, array on the higher time frame. So the break in order flow would truly be if we like went under this. Because first of all we'd be going under the order block and then we'd be uh, probably very weak because we broke this PD array. And usually when you get we break all these arrays, usually your bias is wrong. Um, so that's kind of that. So if I go to kind of some more examples right here, um, like up here you can see, okay, we could get a, a huge up move via these order blocks. As long as these order blocks are holding, okay, as long as all these order blocks are holding, the order flow is bullish, okay, and you can see all these order blocks end up holding. And then where's the change in order flow in this chart? Well, you can see we failed to hit this high, create a lower high at this time. You wouldn't really know yet. Um, at this time, I probably would have thought that I'd be like, oh, we got so close to this, why haven't we hit it yet? Um, but we don't really get any significant order blocks, okay? But you can see these candles right here. These are bearish order blocks. Um, I mean, these are... Uh, like this, this right here, my bad, is a is a bearish order block, but these never turn into bullish order blocks. Why? Because when you create this, we never move past them. We never move past a high. So these would not be bullish order blocks. And you can tell in this in this example, we never break order flow because the fact that we don't hit the high of this one right here doesn't mean these are bullish order blocks. So we wouldn't. There would be no this this move isn't a break of order flow yet. Um, you can see like right here. Boom, this is your order block. This is the last supported order block. Um, as long as this holds, I'll be bullish. Okay? You can see what happens. A break through it, we get a break through it, and then boom, what happens? We end up dumping. Um, let me see if I can find a bearish example. Um, so, like right here, this is kind of a weird Sunday night open. But we get our first solid order block here, another one right here, and then boom, what happens? We knife through them. Okay? We retrace. Um, and it now this now becomes a breaker because we hit liquidity. We were chased, we never quite hit it, but breaking this order block, uh, even this order block, that would be considered a change in order flow, okay? Um, so it's really, it depends on what the trend is. If you're getting higher highs and higher lows and you're holding the order blocks, this would be bullish order flow. Why? It's because we hold all these bears for a value gaps, okay? We created bears for a value gap here, or bullish for a value gap here, create another one here. Create another one here. Create another one here. Um, but ideally, this was probably there's probably a more solid one in the far hour. Uh, but ideally, you want to be seeing these order blocks held. 
Right here, this is a very obvious bearish order block. What happens when you reject it? But then you can see once you break it, the order flow changes, okay? So we're going from making lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower highs, or lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and then boom, what happens? We end up breaking this, we broke above this, and that's when the order flow would switch, okay? And you, you target liquidity. Um, so that's kind of what I have in order flow. Um, it's not really like it's it's definitely something worth paying attention to um, whether you're holding bullish order blocks it if, the, if you're not holding bullish order blocks the order flow is probably not bullish um, so if we look at the move from a few days ago like when we were holding this the FOMC day I was bullish as long as we held these as long as we held these okay if we swept this low we probably would have dumped and that would have been our market structure shift and we would have dumped down here but the fact that we held this um, these order blocks made me think i was like oh the bull the, the bullish the order flow is still bullish so um that's about my that's a my video order flow uh sorry um that's about all i have um i'm gonna say this one more time so i am closing down my patreon for a little bit um i think there's a couple more spots um i did open up a few yearly membership spots again you i please don't purchase those those are just in case the other ones run out because i know a few people ask me about them uh, but other than that, uh, let me know if you want to join. Again, I live trade every day. Um, I'm in voice a lot. But hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, other than that, peace out.